सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन क्यूइंग मॉडल फाइ विच इज फाइनाइट पॉप्युलेशन मॉडल और लिमिटेड सोर्स मॉडल बाय यूजिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर्म्यूले Let us understand some important formulas related to Q-ing model phi. It is symbolically represented as m m one f c f s n m. Now this m indicates the poison arrival distribution. Second m poison service time distribution. One there are these single server provided to serve the customers f c f s. Service discipline is on the basis of first come first serve. Then n number of customers in the queuing system is limited and it is equal to n. Then capital M calling source or population from which the customers arrive in the system is also limited or we can say finite and that is equal to capital M. So this model phi is known as finite population model. Now the probability of arrival depend on the number of potential customers available to enter the system. That means the new arrival depends on the value of this capital M. So this capital M is known as the population or also known as the calling source. So we can define here small n that is the number of customers in queuing system and any arrival must come from the capital M. Now let us understand some important formulas to solve the questions. Probability of n customers in the system. So probability of suppose there is the value that is five customers in the system, ten customers in the system, and that is also from this capital M is known as P n. So how we can write this formula? So this P n probability of n customers is also depends on the value of capital M. So its formula is P zero, that is the probability of empty system multiplied by lambda by mu raised to n into m factorial divided by m minus n factorial. Now let us understand the formula to calculate the probability of empty system, that is P zero. P zero is equal to one divided by summation of n is equal to zero to m, m factorial divided by m minus n factorial. Into lambda by mu raised to n. So this is the formula to calculate p zero. Now we will move to the next formula that is the length of the system. So length of the system L S is equal to summation of n is equal to zero to m, n p n. So we can use this formula or simply we can use the formula capital M minus mu by lambda into one minus p zero. So it is easy for us to calculate this formula uh, ca by use this formula to calculate L S because P zero we can calculate by using this formula. Capital M is mentioned if mentioned in the question, then it is easy for us to calculate L S by using this formula. Then next one is the length of the queue or number of customers waiting in the queue. L Q is equal to capital M minus Lambda plus mu divided by lambda into one minus p zero. We will read the question. A mechanic repair four machines. The mean time between service requirements is five hours for each machine and forms an exponential distribution. The mean repair time is one hour and also follows the same distribution pattern. Machine downtime costs rupees twenty five per hour, and the mechanic cost rupees fifty five per day. First, find the expected number of operating machines. Second, determine the expected downtime cost per day. Third, would it be economical to engage two mechanics, each repairing only two machines? This question was asked. PTU MBA May two thousand two. Let us understand the given data. Inter arrival time for machines is given five hours. So how to calculate the arrival rate? So lambda is equal to one divided by arrival time, and lambda is equal to one divided by five, which is equal to zero point two. 
then repair time is also mentioned so this repair time that means service time so service rate mu is equal to 1 divided by repair time and that is equal to 1 it is mentioned that the repair man or the mechanic can repair only four machines so if he can repair only four machines that is the arrival rate or any broken machines entered into the system will depends on this number 4 so we can say that this is the finite population model or the calling source is finite because here he can repair the limited number of machines so he can repair only 4 machines so value of capital M is equal to 4 machines and value of capital N that is the number of machines in the system small n depends on this value of capital M. Next data machine downtime cost rupees 25 per hour, mechanic cost rupees 55 per day. Now if we compare this cost is given for hour and this cost is given for day. So we will consider here in one day there are total 8 working hours. So we will say that this cost is one day that is equal to 8 working hours. So mechanic cost rupees 55 for 8 hours. Now we will move to the first question. Expected number of operating machines. So how to calculate this? So expected number of operating machines that means we have to calculate first the number of broken down machines in the system. So if we calculate the number of broken machines in the system that is we have to calculate the length of the system so how to calculate this formula is capital M minus mu by lambda 1 minus P0 so let us first calculate the probability of the empty system that is P0 so P0 is equal to 1 divided by summation of n is equal to 0 to m m factorial divided by m minus n factorial lambda by mu raised to n now we will put the value. So 1 divided by n is equal to 0 to m. m is 4. In here m factorial that is 4 factorial m minus n factorial that is 4 minus n factorial lambda by mu. So lambda is 0 0.2 mu 1 0 0.2 by 1 raised to n. Now here summation of n from 0 to 4 that means we have to take the addition by putting the value from 0 1 2 3. 3, 4. So here I can write take the values of n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and we have to take the summation. So how I can take the summation? So first put n is equal to 0. So when I put n is equal to 0, so 4 factorial by 4 factorial that is getting cancelled and 0 0.2 raised to 0. So anything raised to 0 that is 1. So I will write here as a 1 plus now I will put next value 1. So 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 1. That is 3 factorial. So 4 factorial that means 4 multiplied by 3 factorial. And this 3 factorial, 3 factorial is getting cancelled. So here only remaining 4. Into 0 0.2 raised to 1. That is only 0 0.2. So I will write here 0 0.2. Plus. Now take n is equal to 2. So 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 2 that is 2 factorial. So 4 factorial that means 4 into 3 into 2 factorial. So this 2 factorial 2 factorial is getting cancelled. So I will write 4 multiplied by 3. And here 0 0.2 raised to 2. Plus now we have to put 3. So if I take here 3 that is 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 3 that is 1 factorial. So here I will write 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 and 0 0.2 raised to 3 plus again we have to take this and that is 4. So if I take here 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 4 that is 0 factorial. So here only 4 factorial. So I will take here 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And 0 0.2 raised to 4. Now we have to solve this. So when we solve this we will get the answer that is 0 0.4.
Now we will put the value. So m minus mu by lambda. So what is the value of m? That is 4 minus mu 1 lambda 0 0.2 1 minus P0, 1 minus 0 0.4. Value of LS that is equal to 1. So we can say that total number of machines in the system for the repairing that is equal to 1. So what was the first question? So first question is that expected number of operating machines. So expected number of operating machines. So repair man can repair 4 machines and out of these 4 machines there is only one machine is broken machine and that arrives into the system. So operating machines that is equal to 4 minus 1 that is equal to 3. So this is the answer of first question. Now we will move to the next question. Expected downtime cost per day. So for with one mechanic, what is the expected downtime cost? So machine downtime cost is given 25 per hour. So now if we consider in one day, there are total number of 8 hours because question is that downtime cost per day. So we have to calculate here 8 multiplied by 25 and number of broken machine only 1. So for one machine only, we have to pay for the downtime cost. So which is equal to rupees 200 per day. Now we will also calculate what is the total cost with one mechanic. So for the one mechanic we have to pay the cost 55. So we have to add this 55 rupees. So 200 plus 55 which is equal to rupees 255 per day. So according to this given data only one machine broken and for repairing purpose only one mechanic is used and what is the total cost with one mechanic rupees 255 in one day now we will move to the next condition it is given that when there are two mechanics each serving two machines so here limits for the population is given each is serving only two machines so value of capital m is equal to two now we will first find out for the one mechanic how many broken machines are there. That means for one mechanic what is the length of the system or what are the number of broken machine inside the system. So for that we have to first find out the probability of empty system that is P0. So P0 we have formula 1 divided by summation of n is equal to 0 to m m factorial divided by m minus n factorial lambda by mu raised to n. So here value of capital M we have to consider 0. So when we put value, so this is the equation. Now we will put here the value of n that is from 0, 1, 2. So put n is equal to 0, 1, 2. So first if I take value 0 then 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial that is getting cancelled 0 0.2 raised to 0 that is 1. So 1 plus. Now we will put next 1. So 2 minus 1, 1 factorial. So here 2 into 1, 2 factorial that means 2 into 1 and here only 1. So we will say that 2 multiplied by 0 0.2 raised to 1 plus. Now we will put here n is equal to 2. So 2 factorial divided by 0 factorial. That is only 2 factorial into 0 0.2 raised to 2. So when we solve this, we will get the answer 0 0.68. Now we will find out the length of the system. But here we will consider only one mechanic. So for one mechanic, he can operate only two machines. So m is equal to 2. Then length of the system for one mechanic. That is ls for one mechanic is equal to. So for one mechanic expected number of machines in the system that is ls is equal to m minus mu by lambda 1 minus p0 so m is 2 minus mu by lambda so mu is 1 divided by 0 0.2 1 minus p0 that is 1 minus 0 0.6 that is equal to 0 0.4 now we have to calculate the number of broken machines for two mechanics because total number of mechanics provided is equal to two. So for two mechanics number of broken machines. So this is the broken machine for one mechanic. So 0 0.4 into 2 that is equal to 0 0.8.
Now we will calculate the machine downtime cost per day with two mechanics. So with two mechanics, the number of broken machines that is equal to 0 0.8. And for one day we have taken eight number of hours and downtime cost is 25 per hour. So we have to take 8 multiplied by 0 0.8 into 25 that is rupees 160 per day. And what about the mechanic cost? So for the one mechanic it is rupees 55 per day. So for two mechanics, cost for two mechanics 2 into 55 that is rupees 110 per day. So what is the total cost with two mechanics? So total cost is 160 plus 110 that is 270 per day. Now we will compare this cost with one mechanic. So for the cost with one mechanic total cost is 255 per day as we have calculated earlier. So if we compare these two costs we can say that it is not economical to provide two mechanics.